team coverage on the 100 year anniversary of this flood. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien joins us live also in Pueblo with a look at how this tragedy came about, Alex. Yeah, let's take a step back here and talk about what actually happened during this 100 year flood back in 1921. So this covered about 300 square miles of flooding conditions from Fremont County all the way to the Kansas state line, destroying 600 homes and estimates of 1500 people died. So let's talk about what exactly led up to this natural disaster. Starting June 2nd, 1921, a perfect storm was brewing. Warm and humid air were flowing at the perfect direction from Pueblo County into Fremont County, where the airflow was funneled into the canyon and forced up the terrain. This lasted for five days, bringing torrential rainfall. The heaviest of rain came on the night of June 3rd and the morning of June 4th in a cloud burst or an extremely high rate of rainfall. Official storm totals have Florence at 6.9 inches and Pueblo at 6.24 inches, although unofficial totals peaked at 10 to 12 inches in the region. These flash flood waters ran off into local creeks and into the Arkansas River, causing devastation from Canyon City to the state line. The Arkansas River crested four times during this event, topping levees and flowing into the city, the highest level being at 24.66 feet on the night of June 3rd. The crest on June 5th came after the Schaefer Dam failed, which devastated Penrose. At its maximum, the Arkansas River in Pueblo was flowing at 103,000 cubic feet per second or about 770,500 gallons per second, which is over 18,000 bathtubs per second and over one Olympic pool per second. Flooding from both the Arkansas River and Fountain Creek inundated the city of Pueblo, portions of downtown under 10 to 14 feet of water at a total of three square miles underwater. And I want to add to the perspective of just how much water was in the Arkansas River at this time. So I checked today, uh, the Arkansas River at the Pueblo Dam is at about four feet. Major flood stage threshold is at 11 feet. And during this event, the Arkansas River crested at 24 feet. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.